Uh, let's check in on how the business community is doing in Egypt right now. We're joined by phone by Shafiq Gaber. He's chairman of Our Talk Group. He's in Egypt. He joins us by phone right now. Uh, Shafiq, welcome back to the show. Um, you were on with us uh, on the 31st of, of January. Talk to me about what things are like for you and for the community right now. Well, things are, are stable today, but let me just say one thing. I was a little bit taken aback by the media frenzy and that report I just heard before I got on air about the president and his family. And as an Egyptian, I really think I would hope that Bloomberg and other stations would really research their sources because as far as I'm concerned, uh, it doesn't help at all to try and put things out there which are not based on much evidence. But anyway, the well, situation... Well, that, that, to be clear, which is why, and I understand your questioning, but that's why I did pop in with we, the report that our reporter just ran through is based on information from IHS Global Insights. So it's a, it's a research group that shared that. It's not our reporting. So uh, we okay. can't confirm it, but that's what they are reporting. That's, but that's anyhow... Good. I'm happy you say you can't confirm it. You know, that's, that's key. But, I mean, things on the ground today, there are peaceful demonstrations, there are engagements between uh, the government and the uh, protesters on a formula to move forward because the best formula to move forward has to be within a constitutional reform and the ballot box. On the business side, we are very hopeful banks are going to open again on Sunday. The stock exchange should open and I think we need to truly work together to be able to get things back on the ground as they were before. The Egyptian economy definitely has been impacted negatively, and it's going to take a lot of effort to put it back on keel. Uh, Shafiq, I mean, talk to me about the near term and getting through the weekend. If the banks are opening up, what are, are you seeing and what do you personally intend to do? I mean, there are fears of a real run on the bank. I don't think there's going to be a run on the banks. I think there is a lot more stability that is shown on uh, on the media. I think, of course, people you know should have received their salaries on the first of the month. There's people that are going to need access to funds. But what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is that there is a great earnest feeling to go back to uh, to business and back to uh, the offices and you know the message has been the political message on the street has been received I think there's been a response now there's a negotiation to fine-tune it but people need to get back to their jobs one of the key problems is unemployment right. staying on the streets is not going to help it I think what needs to happen is we need to move forward rather than to continue any more distortions which can be very but, costly. But how do you possibly get back to normal? I mean in the near term uh, wouldn't you expect the IMF or another agency to have to come in to, to help get business back to normal? How do you do that? How do you create growth as a business person right now? I mean, are you going to be hiring more people now in your businesses? I, I, I can tell you that since I've returned back to Cairo, uh, I have no intention of letting go people. We have a hundred million, 120 million project, which is almost 75 percent through. We're going to continue it. We're, we have about 750 jobs that are going to be added in the next three months just for these people. We're very up Optimistic. Don't forget, Egypt was growing at 6.5% before all this happened. And we have very little debt and a significant amount of a cushion. Mm -hmm. But of course, definitely what happened this 11, 11 days is going to have a negative impact on the Treasury. It's going to have a negative impact on, on the economy and the GDP. Mm -hmm. But we're very optimistic that we need to turn this corner if we're going to deal with issues such as unemployment and prices. All right, Shafiq, thank you very much for calling in and giving us uh, your take there as, as a business person.